Hello and welcome to bar. This is a mixture of ballet, pilates and other fitness elements and it's going to work best today if you are in socks or in bare feet. And today we are working top to towel. So we will be using a towel, a hand towel or a bath towel, but make sure it is big enough to have a, a V shape with the arms. You don't want it too small to get stuck. Uh, so nice and big and we can be using it for a little bit of a resistance in some movements in our workout today. Uh, we'll be doing some things in the center, but we will also be working at a bar. So whatever you have for a bar, the back of a chair, of the table, the wall, the desk, the mantelpiece, have it nearby. We're going to start at the bar with no towel to begin. We're going to be doing some movements for our upper body to start with a warm up. So we're going to be stepping up to the bar, just a little parallel position through the feet, lengthening through the legs, lifting the rib cage out of the pelvis. We're going to start with an exercise modified from the total bar repertoire. It has four movements. They are to reach across with the arm for the first one and pull back through the elbow. The second one is going to be the same thing, but reaching out through the hand. The next one is going to be with a curve through the spine, a little rounding in the top of the back, and then a lift through the chest, lifting up, extending the top of the back. And the fourth movement is a side bend. I will be going through them all with you as we go. We're going to do everything twice slowly and four times faster. And we're going to alternate sides with each movement today. Uh, that's all we need to be getting on with. Let's make a start. Uh, ooh, give it back, hold up now. There we go. Stepping up to your bar, just placing the fingertips on, resting there. Take a little opening through the chest. Very gentle, take a little curve in the spine. Press the heels and the toes down as we lengthen through the legs. We're gonna reach one arm across the body. And it's gonna pull back through the elbow, twice slowly. And then four times a little faster, reaching away and pulling back. We're going to repeat the same movement again with the other arm. So twice slowly, reaching away, pulling back through the elbow. A little rotation in the torso, just allowing the gaze to travel out to the centre of the room and pulling back. We're going to take that again with that open hand all the way out behind us on that diagonal line. Open away. Think about opening out through the chest as you reach. And we've got four times a little faster. Make sure you have a little locked into the knees. A little softness there. Look for a small transition in the music. As we change to the other side, twice slowly. Reaching across. Pulling back. One more time. And then we take it a little faster. Reaching away. And two. This one's going to come into that curve through the spine. So we're back to the first arm. We're rounding the back and then we're extending the top of the spine. And we can take a little plie here with the legs as well. Four times quicker. We're going to take the same thing on the other side, reaching across nice and smooth. Pulling away, sorry that's the curve, up and over. And reaching up, four times a little faster. Curve over and up. And then we're going to take a tiny little break pause while I skip the music back so that we can do that little side bend. Let's repair the arm to the side, reaching away. We're going to be taking it over <coughs> nice and slowly to begin. Little side bend and away. One more time. And then picking up the pace, making sure the knees are tracking parallel over the centre of the foot, having a bit of a space between them, matching the space between the feet. Other side, reaching up and over slow, reaching away. And again. Four fast to finish up. Reach and away. Really lengthening into that side of the body getting that side bend involved, come around, replace the hand, take again a little lift in the chest, opening through the collarbone, and then curving down from the top of the spine, rounding the back, take a little softening in the knees, a little wiggle here is always welcome, gently unroll, bring yourself up, we are going to be taking our towel and stepping away from the bar, so we're moving into the centre for our plies today. Thank you. 
Flipping on. Stepping into your center space. So taking a second position through the legs, a rotation from the top of the leg right the way down to the foot, planting all the toes into the floor. We're going to start with the towel wide. So a nice long V position through the arms as we plie. As we plie. And, and so we're just reaching that towel away to just under shoulder height. Make sure it's not coming too high. Thinking about knees reaching out over the center of the foot as we had at the bar. Maintaining that turnout through the leg. We're going to take the arms a little higher. So as we go down, they're going to reach up. And come back to that shoulder height again. Exploring the range of motion available in the arm, in the shoulder socket. Stable, making sure the arms don't pitch back behind you. And just coming overhead. We're going to add in a little raise of the heel, press it down, and then come back again. So you've got plie, raise the heel, press it down, return. Let's take that same thing again to either side. I'm going to speed it up a little bit through the heel. So it's going to go down, heel, raise, heel, raise, reach away. And down, heel, raise, heel, raise, reach away. You've got two more. Trying to stay central through the pelvis as the heels move. The last one of those. Then we're going to see if we can challenge ourselves to come down. Two heels, come down, reach up. So we've slowed the pace down a little bit. Two heels, you've got two more. It's down, two heels up, two heels down. Last one, try to keep low in the pelvis and replace. We'll take a little simple twist around the side. Breathing into the side and back of the ribs, coming back. One more time. Gently rotating. Coming back, release the arms for a second. Just creep the feet in a little more of a squat position now. We're going to take the arms forward again as we did before, but we're thinking about now the pelvis dropping back as the heels drive down into the floor. Just a few of those on the end. So we've got a little squat and up, a little squat and up. And so the gaze will drop slightly because of the pitched angle through the body. We're going to come in for our final few. We're going to be reaching the towel up towards the sky. Just for these last few. Reach away. Long spine. Making sure the arms don't pitch back behind us. You've got two more to finish. Last two. Last one. See if you can keep the arms up. Just take a little rise up onto the balls of the feet. Nice and wide and proud through the collarbones as you release down through the heels. And release through the arms. Whew, shrug that off for a second. We're going to be taking ourselves into a tondu exercise. The tondu exercise pattern goes slowly with one foot and in. Slowly with one foot and in. And then four times faster, alternating. Similar pattern to our warm up that we had at the bar. Two slow, four fast. For the two slow ones, we'll be taking a tondu, we'll be taking a little upper body side bend to come back. Not enough to tip you off balance, not enough to need to prod the foot into the floor. It's still a tondu, you should still be able to lift it in your side bend. And then the four faster ones, we will just maintain that nice strong open position through the arms and the chest. We'll take that to the front, we'll take that to the side. We'll take that back in line with the shoulder socket and we'll take it to the side one more time. Then we'll see how we go. <laughs> Let's try it. <coughs> so raising up through your arms, we're going to take the foot and take a little side bend. Come back. So I'm just starting from that first position. Side bend and in. You've got four little tondus, a little faster. And then we take the same thing to the side. So the side, we're over, we're up, we're changing sides, we're side, we're over, we're up, four faster side to side. Now really think about that support from the shoulder socket underneath. Woohoo! A little harder to the back. Take it away, lifting up on that supporting side, coming back four times quicker. 
think almost like your armpits want to try and face each other. Take it to the side and over, return, come back. Last one to the side, up and over, return. Four faster, go a four, a three, a two, a one. Release the arms for a moment. Take a little bounce through the knees. And spongy plie. So we're gonna take it again one more time. And this time if you wanted to, your four tendus could be four glisses coming just away from the floor. Other than that, same rules apply. First position, here we go again. We're coming forwards to side bend, to reach, to change. Take it forwards. Lifting up and out of the pelvis. Four quickly, four, and three, and two. Last one, so way to the side. Reach up and away. Standing tall over that supporting foot. Up and away, come back. Return into four. Just off the floor with those glissades, lengthening all the way from the top of the leg down to the top of the toe. Return, take it to the back. Trying not to put weight onto that back foot. It's a four, a three, a two. Last time. Let's go the opposite way here. Let's take it away. Woohoo, she says. And back. Far too keen. Up and over. And back. Return. Four glissades. One. And two, and three, and four, release the arms. Good. Well, I'm staying in. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's so much easier on the side. I've got loads of room. No, control first, <laughs> then explore. Uh, great stuff. Let's build ourselves into, I'm going to try and move this far away a little bit more. In fact, I'm going to pop it over here. Because we're going to be taking another exercise in the centre. The uh, towel is going to come behind us. So we have two ends of the towel, and one is going to be reaching away, one in towards the waist. The opposite arm to the long arm, or the same arm as the short arm, is going to be the working foot. So we're going to take our leg from a tondu up to an attitude. It's going to come from a curtsy to a tondu four times. It's going to come from a curtsy to a glisse four times. It's going to come from curtsy to a jeté, and then into an attitude, and then four more attitudes where we are using the opening of the arm. Close in towards the leg as it extends, bring it down again as you replace. Then we will take the same thing on the other side. A little hip opening, <coughs> a little warm up through the boots, taking it into this. Let's begin one arm forward, one arm back. The short arm is the leg that's going to be to the back. Let us begin. In a three, two, one, we go. Curtsy to Tondu. Curtsy to Tondu. And there can be some pull on that towel to keep you nice and stable. Down to the glisse. Make sure that foot is brushing across the floor every time. Same thing a little higher to a jeté. Heel driving down as we slide the foot away. Down. Reaching up on that supporting side of the body. Take it a little higher into the attitude, the bend of the knee, the swing through the leg, the point through the foot, last four, we take the arm cross as well. Last one, come back to curtsy, just hold it to the side, take it across to the other side, make sure you've got room over here, we're going back in again, just keep it back through the knees, just so we've got time. So one length and arm, one short arm, and the leg swimming out into space from a curtsy. Here we go. We're down, extend, down, extend. All the way from the beginning, getting that brush of the foot across the floor into the glisse. Really reaching your way through that towel arm. A little higher, jeté. Inside thighs. Think wrapping around, holding that turn out a little higher into an attitude. And then this last set is going to be where we take the towel across. Take it across, open it out. Returning to two feet. Release your towel. Take yourself back towards your bar. We're just going to be near the bar. For a little bit of support, but we're still going to be using that towel for a bit of upper body work again. So taking the towel behind you, 
We're going to take the tailbone behind us, creep the hands in. So it's a little bit of a smaller base, just outside the legs, a really small V. Feet in parallel underneath us. We're going to just reach the arms away and smooth you down. Reaching away, keeping the spine long. A little opening in the shoulder socket, a little stretch in the top of the arms. Try and keep the palms looking back behind you. Let's go for two more. Softness in the knees. We're going to add in a little something, less of a reach from the arms now, and more of an opening through the chest and coming back again. So the arms will come a little way from the legs, the towel will come a little way from the legs, but mostly it's in the top of the spine, reaching up, thinking pointing outwards on the towel, rather than backwards, so out to the side. Reaching away. Take a little curve of the spine, release that. Take it into the first position. We'll take the same thing again. So we're just gonna open and close. Three more. Last one. Take a curve of the spine, release the towel, bring it around. A little rounded back, a little shell stretch, shell stretch action as we change that. We're going to be taking the towel back into two hands. Extend one leg back, take it into a lunge. Two hands forward. We're going to take a slight pour de bras. Is there a slight pour de bras? We're just going around the corner and coming back again. Same on the other side, around the corner. And coming back, one more either way. Opening through the chest. Last one, reach around. We're coming back into the bar. <clears throat> We're extending the leg. We're changing sides. Gently stepping across into the second side. Drop the heel down, reach the arms away. Come away from the bar and back. Come away from the bar and back. Two more. Last one, reach your leg. And back, release the towel for a second, come back into the bar, turn the feet to parallel, step away, take a lengthening through the spine, a little cat stretch, dropping the sit bones, curling the back up towards the sky, and then dropping down again to lengthen sit bones and head in opposite directions. Take it back, arm roll. Take it forwards, sit bones back, top of the head reaching forwards, rounding upwards through the top of the spine, and then curving back to walk back into your bar. The next exercise uses no towel, so you can just pop that to one side for a moment. We are going to be side on at the bar for an exercise from the total bar repertoire, which is going to focus on our outside thighs, outside glute muscles, hips. Uh, we're going to take one hand onto the bar, the outside hand onto the waist. And we'll start with an abduction through the leg. So just reaching the heel away and coming back again. Parallel leg. We're going to take that eight times. And then we're going to take eight little pulses out. We'll take the same thing with a tilt. So now we have abduction on two legs. Two legs moving away from the midline of the body. Moving outwards, abducting. Eight times there and then eight little pulses to the side again. Coming back in, we will be taking a squat and a low kick. So we're driving the heel down towards the floor. Eight of those, no pulses, that's always nice. Into, straight away, tilting with that abduction. Again, that kick out, eight of those. On that eighth one, reaching away, we're going to pulse the leg. There are those pulses. Uh, taking it back behind us, coming into a, an arabesque position onto the bar. I'm going for forearms, you might be on your hands depending on what you're using. We have a parallel leg, eight pulses with a flex foot, eight pulses with a pointed foot, parallel. You can have a bend on this underneath the knee if you need it. So then drive the heel into the glute eight times and then eight pulses up. To take a pointed foot you've got eight rotations in the top of the leg and then eight pulses outwards on the end. And then we will do the whole thing on the second side. So everything happens in eight, which is nice and easy to remember. I will guide you through as we go. Let us go for it. Finding our position side onto the bar, placing the hand on, placing the hand on the hip. Uh, we're starting just with the reach away through that lengthened leg. So it's going to reach away and in. Coming back to two feet every time. We're reaching away, return. Four to go. Lengthening the back of the spine. 
lengthened up through the tops of the ears, nice and long. You've got eight little pulses here. So you're shifting over onto that supporting leg and drawing that flex foot parallel leg heel away. That's seven, that's eight. And so we're tilting and coming back. We have that tilt in the upper body, not too high through the leg. Make sure you can support it with the angle of the torso, with the angle of the underneath leg. Two more, reach away. You've got pulses on the end of this one. So we have a pulse and two, parallel through the leg, just reaching away through the top of the spine, nice and long through the neck. We're coming back into squat, low kick, squat, low kick, drive the heel down towards the floor. You've got four more, it's four. Even through that squat, make sure the pelvis is right in the center. We're gonna take that straight into the tilted version. So we're tilting as we drive the foot away. Think about your TVA muscle, that corset muscle wrapping around the waist. Four to go. Deepening the breathing. This one's going to stay up so that we can take those little pulses, eight pulses, with a flex foot as you're coming around to face towards your bar. Arabesque eight pulses with a pointed foot, driving the toes away from you. We're going to take it into a flex again. As we curl it in, hamstring curl, reach away. We've got four more. Curl and point. Make sure there's softness in that underneath knee. If you need it, try not to lock back into the knee joint. We've got little pulses going up, using the glute to extend through the hip. Four and three. Last set to go. Take it to the side and in, side. So we're rotating the leg, the knee out to the side, trying to keep the supporting leg nice and still. Nice four, last three. And then we're gonna have our eight pulses on the end. I think it's gonna be just after the music. Here it is. It's eight, it's seven, it's six, it's five. Nearly there. And three, last two. Last one, release that leg, extend it away. Take a little release through two legs. We are gonna repeat that one, I'm afraid. On the second side, turning yourself around, let's go straight in for it, let's do it. Cut, <clears throat> excuse me, coming around to that second side. Lengthen through the spine. So the first action is just the abduction, the reach away through the leg. So we reach away, return, away, return. Four to go, driving through the heel, driving down the outside of the leg, steady through the torso, pelvis level. You've got eight little pulses out, trying not to lift that outside hip bone, really try and stay supported from the glute muscle on the supporting side. We've got the tilt and back. So now we are lifting the outside hip bone with length on two sides of the body, just gently pressing down on the bar. The last two, sorry, last two, and last one. The next one is the pulses. You've got pulsing out. Drive that heel away. Drive that supporting leg down into the floor. We're coming back into the squat. Squat low kick to start. Nice and low. Down evenly on two legs. Four more, reaching away, reaching upwards on that supporting side. No pulses here, instead we go straight into our tilt. Still keeping that leg parallel, that's the tricky bit. Little downward pressure onto the bar, four more. Are you still breathing? Nice and deep into the side and back of the lungs. Leave the leg, pulsing away as we are rotating around, coming in towards our bar, and then with a pointed foot, we will squeeze us through the glute as it reaches back. Long spine, TBA wrapping, belly button gently hugging back towards the spine. Flex the foot to curl, reach away. You've got eight of these. Suctioning the shoulder blades onto the back of the ribs. Four to go. Parallel through this leg as well. 
as hard as it is, really try and stay disciplined with that parallel. We've got pulses. Oh no, I just did the same thing again. We're going to be taking it out into the side to an attitude in five, six. Here we go. Attitude and in. Attitude. Oh, I'm in crisis now. I don't know if we did the pulses to the back. I think we did. I went on a little time loop and sort of did the same thing again, I think. Never mind. We've caught up with where we were before. We have our eight pulses out to the side. It's eight. It's seven. It's six. Shoulder blades nice and supportive for the spine. For two, for one. Release, lengthening that leg away, coming down. Have a little release through the legs, through the hips. We're going to be taking our towels again and coming down into the floor. Bringing yourself down into a kneeling position. So you might want to cushion underneath the knees. Uh, or you might be fine as is. If you're on carpet like me, uh, you might want a mat. We're going to come into a kneeling position, one leg forward, reaching the towel away. So again, we're pulling outwards on the towel, having resistance through the body. We're going to be taking a little side twist, pull that elbow back, and then reaching away. We're going to go for three on one side, and then we're going to swap legs and do it on the other side. And then we'll repeat the whole thing again. Here's our first side. Rotate, come back. Rotate, come back. Rotate. We turn to our legs. Here it goes to the other side. Rotate. Return. Same thing again. Exactly the same. Rotate. Return. Growing taller through the spine as you go. Try not to twist in the pelvis. Think of that rotation coming from the center of the body, from the waistline and upwards. Rotate. Return. Last one. We're coming back into the centre. I'm going to slow it down a little bit on this one as we take a little lunge and return. So we're just stretching out into that hip flexor of the back. Coming back again. Last one. Return. Gently swap it over. Try and leave the arms raised. Last side. Here we go. Lunge and return. Squeezing the glutes on that back leg to assist in that opening through the hip flexor. Return. Take the arms down to the floor. Release the towel. Have a little release through the shoulders. We've got a core exercise coming up. Coming down all the way now into the floor. We will be using an abdominal curl in the top of the body. And we will be using the towel for a little bit of support for that. So from your supine position, have the hands separated. They're, so, they're visible at the corners of the eyes. They're not too far away. I can feel definitely when I pull with my arms that there is a little bit of support there for the head. And so I'm taking a neutral spine to start. Creeping the feet away in line with the sit bones. Open through the collarbones. As we exhale and flex, as we inhale and return. speed this up just a little bit to be on tempo of the music so we could flex return and that uh, I was going to say band but it's a towel that towel giving you the support for the head and the neck so you can focus in on the upper abdominals creating that curve rounded through the spine and I'm going to release the head down as we change over what's going on in the middle of the spine, we find a little imprint position. <clears throat> so rather than our neutral, a little mini contraction between ribs and hips, floating one leg, two legs into their tabletop place. We're going to take the same thing again, maintaining that imprinted spine. Here we go. We've got flexing up, return, flex up, return. A few more. Keep pulling with the arms, not enough to create a jamming of the chin, but just enough to stay supported for the head. Nice heavy head. This next one's going to stay up in that flexion. Upper abdominals engage as we tap a toe. Come back. As we tap a toe, come back. Two more either side. Wide breath into the side and back of the ribs. Tap. Return. Go tap. Return. Release the head and the shoulders down. Take a little rest for the arms. Take a little rest for the back. 
we've got one more variation. We're going to be coming back up again. So we come back through our imprint, tabletop, arms, upper body flex. We're going to take an extended leg, come back, extend away, return. We're going to shift a little, extend, return. And we can take that a little faster into one leg and two leg and one and two. Wide breathing into the side and back of the ribs. Glutes squeezing at that leg reaching away. Last four. Last three. Nearly there. It's two. Final side. It's one. It's one. Return. Head and shoulders down. Take the arms underneath the legs. Have a nice little rock side to side there. We're going to be coming up to a seated position. Gently rock yourself up. Coming around. Sitting onto the heels. Taking the towel in two hands. We're just going to slide it away across the floor. Lengthening out the back. Lengthening out underneath the armpit. Having that reach through the arms. That reach and length through the neck still. Uncurl yourself up into a little cat stretch. We're going to curl the spine up to the sky, drop the head and the tailbone down. And then we're going to inhale, send the head and the tailbone in opposite directions. Take it back again, curving up and over. Reaching away. You've got one more, wide through the collarbones. Opening away, a little softness in the elbows, coming back through your neutral, re-tuck the toes, sitting back. We're going to gently unroll ourselves through the spine from a little squat position, a little tiny crouch, unrolling, coming through a squat of the legs, pressing up as we re-step the spine. And we are done there for today, thank you very much.